time to get a little feng shui going on in this craziness. Now that I set up Ghostbusters very close to the stairs, I'm not going to be able to get anything up or down. So, uh, not without much difficulty anyway. But uh, this is a little too cluttered for my liking. So, what I think I'm going to do is move this giant bin of black hole parts and put Nordomatic Explorer in this space because it'll just fit. And then take my rotisserie into the back room so I can start on the black hole main play fields in a more comfortable environment. Then I'll have you know, a little more space to work with. So, uh, let's record the antics and see how I move my Explorer into the other room. So, here we go. Okay, that was serious pain in the bum bum, but the feng shui is a little better now. Okay, so the main games room is relatively clear, except for the black hole right in the middle of everything, but that's just going to be its home for now. I can still play, you know, around it which is fine, so I'm okay with that. But uh, view from this side, basically everything's cleared out. I have to move one of those chairs out of the way, but the next thing to do is do a little organizing of uh, this room. There's like five black hole, six black hole play fields back here right now, but uh, Okay, that is a start. Now I have more room to work with in this room. Once I kind of straighten it out a little bit, this cart is not usually here. That pile of parts, I'll maybe try and find a better spot for that. That box is gonna get sorted out. Actually, let's uh, take a look in that box and see what we got. Um, one moment, I will grab it. Okay, so I've got a bunch of crap at storage, at my storage place, and every once in a while I just bring some miscellaneous stuff that I either think I need or want or, or whatever. Uh, so just little bit by little bit I process piece by piece. So let's uh, see what I brought home. Okay. 89 light bulbs. These uh, always come in handy. Oh, wait a minute. That is a weird looking... I don't think that's an 89. That is... Doesn't even say what it is on there, but that is probably more like automotive. I'm not going to be using that. But... Oh, 906 flashers. Okay, I've got more of those than I have 89s, but... 
there we go. Cute little 89 10 pack. That will come in handy. I always seem to be lower on these than everything else in terms of bulbs. One more. Well, oh, another 906. This is, oh, it's a full pack too. Okay, that I can use. I've got a System 80 soundboard and uh, this chip apparently is pretty rare and it is actually there, so that's good. So uh, that might help build uh, several soundboards. Uh, like I sent a box load of System 80 boards to my board repair guy. I gave him like six soundboards and said, can you try and make three good ones out of it? And it depends on this chip, he said partially. Uh, so I will have to let him know I found another one of these. Okay, and then I found this capacitor wizard in pieces. Uh, that's probably just going to end up going in the garbage. I have another part that I found for, for this tool specifically. And now uh, I can put the two pieces together and probably throw them both in the trash because I don't think they're worth anything or worth saving and it looks pretty old and ginormous. I have a digital capacitor meter that uh, seems to be working so I will, that's just probably trash. Uh, I did find one black hole plastic that is obviously in poor shape but that'll make for great wall art somewhere. Cool little astronaut floating around. That'll be getting hung up. System or Gottlieb uh, wire harnesses. Now, I didn't have any of these, so I was happy to find one, but I just placed an order with Dawcent Electronics for three of these because these are 40 years old and these are very critical. So I just went brand new for three black hole projects. This I believe is System 80B, but it's just good to have spares. And you know what? Like if I if I ever want to do the uh, the mod where you add an extra wire here, I believe it's here and here, to an existing harness, I can steal wires from here and stick them in there. Like I could steal this ground wire, right? Pop out these because uh, these are these terminals are called bifurcated terminal pins. I don't know if you can see, but they have, uh, they're bifurcated because, no, that's not a very good site. Oh yeah, because you can see they have kind of like two sides to them. And those pins just, uh, I think a lot of people stopped making them, but I do think they are still available somewhere. But it's just good to have this extra stuff on hand in case of emergency. So I found that in this box, which let's see what else is in here. Looks like just kind of, that's a Gottlieb system one CPU to driver, more Gottlieb system one. That's power supply to CPU. And just some more miscellaneous. I don't know what this is. some board for something. I have no idea what that is. Oh, look at this VCU one. So that is for a game plan. What does it do? I don't know, but if you look closely, that resistor right here, has been completely smoked. But so this is Probably something to do with the sound for a game plan uh, system. So that might be fixable and somebody might need that. Oh, look at that. Another one. Oh, so there's supposed to be two connectors on it. And this resistor is in good shape. This one hasn't been roasted. So what is this? A bridge rectifier? Yeah, I 
think that's a bridge rectifier, this guy here, I think. And then some caps and some logic chip or something. But, okay, so a couple of those. It's fun to sort through all this crap. I mean, it takes some serious time. Here's some, I think these are smart switches because they got like little PCB boards on them, which I think are used in Data East machines. See other connectors right on there? Can you see that very well? Anyway, I think that's a bag of smart switches for whatever company uses that. I think Data East. Um, another harness. All kinds of more harnesses. This is good stuff to have, you know? It's just a case of emergency. Never ending harnesses. Holy. Well, wow, there's an interesting wire bundle. But I'll just throw it in a pile somewhere. Add it to the pile. Some, nothing but Gottlieb wire harnesses for the most part. My video cut off there for some reason. Not really sure what happened, but uh, the last pretty much best thing in the box was this. So I'm going to record this again, but check this out. We've got a box in a bag and let's see what it is that we got obviously I know what it is but you don't yet well maybe you will check this out if you are a collector of pinball history and books this is like the holy grail of books. This is the Roger Sharp Pinball Photographs by James Hamilton. This was done, I believe, in uh, the late 70s by Roger Sharp. And uh, it's kind of a rare book. Uh, uh, and for me to have one is pretty awesome. Like, look at all this beautiful art from the 70s. So much good stuff. Oh yeah, I can't wait to explore this. This is awesome. I, uh, huh, it's a cool photo. Don't know what that is, really. Here's a whole, oh yeah, just, oh, there's Captain Fantastic Wizard combo. Moon Glow, Oklahoma, Wood Rails. Just a great book. I cannot wait to go through this and check out all this awesome action, but yes. Uh, I met Roger Shark briefly at Pinburg, walking by him. I saw him, gave him a high five. That was kind of the highlight of my Pinburg, pretty much. Um, there's no signature in here from Roger. Uh, but if I meet him again, I'll have to get it signed for sure. But this is, this was definitely the best thing in that box by far. Love it. Actually, before wrapping up this video, uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, fellow pinball enthusiast Chris McKinley, who was gracious enough to send me a box full of pinball happiness. He saw in my videos that I like to put miscellaneous crap in every nook and cranny, pinball related, and you know, in every rafter and space and wall space that I can, and uh, sent me a box of goods. And I probably should have unboxed this live for the first time but I didn't think of it until after so I'm gonna go through it again and uh, pretend that we haven't seen it before oh hey just so you know I live at 888 Elias Street if you want to come and play some pinball there you go <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah so Chris sent that he is from Pennsylvania home of Pinburg so that's pretty sweet so let's go through this box of awesomeness so for starters we got a note hey Mike enjoy this box of random pinball crap have a great day Chris so that's pretty sweet and you know what this is a sticker oh I'm gonna stick this somewhere totally that's going up somewhere because that's awesome let's see no I was gonna put it on the water heater just so you could see it but wait can we see a bit of the fridge there 
maybe I'll stick it on the fridge just because I don't even know if I can reach. Hold on one second. Because, because why not? Okay, stupid wires, sorry. It's not the best spot in the world. No, I don't like it. I want to put it somewhere better. So I'm gonna, I'll stick that up somewhere. You know, all this stuff is pretty much um, gonna be going on the walls for the most part. But let's see what else we got. When I opened this up, it was totally like Christmas in February. It was so fun and uh, I loved it. It was just, I was expecting a couple things and the just the box just kept going and going and going. So this is pretty cool. These are wire forms for Black Knight 2000. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do, but those are freaking cool, good shapes, I love them. Move that over here. And look at this, some poster, postcards from Stan Fukuoka, who is the artist for, um, you know, all the Capcom action. Uh, this, you know, you recognize that? That's a, I gotta come a little lower here, eh? That's a Big Bang Bar dancer. And there's some cool art there. I messaged Stan Fukuoka on Facebook. So I hope I'm saying that right, Fukuoka. Yep, and uh, he sent me to his uh, webpage and I was checking out his art there and he's got some stuff for sale actually. So this is, this is okay, so two of the same. And yeah, these are awesome. Fukuoka, he's got some awesome art. And then uh, we've got speaker panel promotional plastics. We got a theater of magic and a party zone. These are awesome, good size, and they will definitely be going on the promotional plastic rafter. And what do we got here? Now this is a promo flyer for Riot Pinball and Junkyard Cats. Like, I think I might have heard of these guys. I mean, this game, I'd have heard of Riot Pinball, but I don't think I've ever really heard of junkyard cats and i don't think i've ever seen it because i don't recall this at all so this is pretty cool i don't know I, I i don't think riot has really released anything weren't they um uh the uh mythological greek one too what was that wrath of olympus wasn't that riot pinball i wonder what's going on with that but uh yeah so that's cool what else this now is this a Stan Fukuoka art of something with the W kind of cut and pasted on the belt like it's sort of like Wonder Woman but it's not I think that's a Fukuoka I don't really know what that is actually but whatever it is maybe uh, oh yeah Chris uh, is WMS pins on the interweb so if uh, you want to let me remind me what this is maybe you told me I don't remember but be cool to know what that's all about and then this is star wars episode one confidential information from the kahuna team it's not really focusing very well there but this is like a prototype not prototype but design phase drawing it looks like so that's cool I like that. That's going up somewhere. But yeah, the box just kept coming and going and going and going and we're getting to the bottom here. But uh, this is pretty much a full set of Terminator 3 plastics. Now, Chris said they're not in amazing shape or anything, but he has no use for them. He's probably got a pretty minty T3 or did at least if he replaced the whole plastic set. Uh, but yeah, there's Arnold there. Stick around he's going on the rafters or somewhere on the wall that's awesome and then something that's extra cool is do you recognize this let's see if we can get focused this is uh, Tommy Skinner from this flipping podcast he makes these uh, and this looks like it is hmm, 16 out of a hundred so he only made a limited run. These are lapel pins. And this is the, like, I think Stargazer series. Or, wait a minute. It says Stargazer here. What does that say? Is it a sea witch back there? Um, but these are friggin' awesome. 
Good job, Tommy. And thanks, Chris, for giving this up. Like, man, oh man, I, I much appreciate that. That is a really cool item to have. So I think that could be maybe a good fridge item, but we'll see. I don't want to like, I don't really want to puncture this card at all. So maybe I'll have to figure out a good way to hang that. But, oh yeah. And then one last thing. The best way to uh, show this one is to model it for you. So I'm just going to take off the mic and show you. I also got this really cool Cliffy shirt. I just need to gain about 300 pounds and it'll fit perfectly snug. Oh, and grow about eight inches tall. Er, so thanks, Chris. Awesome box of fun. Loved it. And uh, yeah, if anybody else has a box of fun, hey, you know my address now. <laughs> All right, talk to you later.